Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about the prerequisites required in order to learn data science. Now, many of your subscribers have been asking this particular question. Even I'm getting messages in LinkedIn saying that Krish, I'm from a commerce background. Can I move into data science domain? What are the prerequisites? Krish, I'm a mechanical engineering student. Can I move into data science? And many more kind of questions are actually coming up. Always remember one thing, guys. Data science is a technique which can be applied in any domain. If you have a specific use case where machine learning or deep learning fits, definitely go ahead and you can apply in that particular domain. So I'm going to mention about the, some of the prerequisites that you need to have so that you can easily make a transition towards data science. So I'm going to mention about four prerequisites. The first prerequisite is that you need to have some basic programming knowledge. Now, when I say you need to have some basic programming knowledge, most of the engineering students, if I talk about most of the engineering students in first sem and second sem, they have programming languages like C and C++. If you know those programming language, if you have done some programming initially, right, uh, making a transition towards data science can be very, very easy because some of the programming languages that you will be using in data science are Python and R programming language. Definitely Python and R are very easy programming languages to learn. So if any basic programming knowledge is there, I think it is more than sufficient. The second prerequisite is that you need to be at least good at maths. You should also have some interest in maths. If you don't have any interest, if you're not good at maths, guys, I think it will be very, very difficult. Because if I talk about data science, if I talk about every modules in the life cycle of a data science project, like feature engineering, feature selection, model creation, everywhere maths is actually involved, right? It is, it is required. So please make sure that you have that habit of learning maths. You take maths seriously. So again, I'm telling you, make sure that you be very, very good at maths. Uh, if you're not good at maths, make sure that you try to learn it, try to learn it in a proper way. The third prerequisite that I'm actually sp specifying is which is called as statistics. Now, Again, guys, maths and statistics uh, both are important. Now, if I just talk about statistics, I'm basically talking about data in short. So if you're taking up the data from any use case, you're doing a lot of analysis, you're, you're trying to work on the population, you're trying to work on the sample of data. So in short, it is all interrelated with statistics. So all the mathematical equation that you will be applying, you'll be basically applying on that specific data. So both maths and statistics are very, very much important. And this is a very important prerequisite. And I know in most of the colleges that you study about statistics is all about mean, median and more. It is not just that guys, if you just try to consider a very good use case, you'll be able to learn a whole lot of things. And again, if you're not good at maths, I, do, I would suggest that you go and follow uh, Khan Academy of Statistics. Uh, there are a whole lot of videos, different, different use cases that are actually discussed over there and it is explained pretty much in a better way. The next prerequisite is that you need to have some basic knowledge of databases also. Now guys, database play a very, very important uh, role in, in a data science project, right? Because all the data initially stored in some databases and then you pick up that particular data, then you do all the feature engineering process, feature selection process, and you do, basically you finally create a model and do the deployment. Some basic knowledge of databases is also very, very important because at the end of the day, data will be stored at some, somewhere, at some place, and you have to retrieve that particular data and do all this particular process. So it is very, very important that you need to have the knowledge of databases like SQL, MongoDB, NoSQL database, and some other type of types of databases. So if you have that particular knowledge, and if you are also a big data engineer who have actually worked in Hadoop database architecture and all, definitely if you move towards data science, you will basically be called as a full stack data scientist because you know the big data part also, you know the data science part also, that basically means you will be able to do all the related work with respect to the data science. So yes, these are the pretty much important prerequisites that are basically required. And this prerequisites, if you have, uh, definitely your transition towards data science will be smoother. If you don't have, then you have to put some more efforts while you're learning those things. So yes, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.